Hello and welcome back to our Juno New Origins Let's Play. In today's episode I will be mainly focusing on the satellite missions as provided by Professor von Prickelspeck. Wow, I managed to say that without breaking tongue. Awesome. Anyway, his points are to deploy satellites in the Drew orbit, so yes. Uh, what I want to do, I do want to unlock packing it tight because it will be, give, be giving me fairings and those I will really need to be able to deploy, you know, all that stuff. Now here we have our orbital rocket, which is already kind of cool. And I was looking through the milestones because some of them could actually help us win some more, you know, points. And if they win us points, we can, we will be able to get some more tech points for unlocking more of the tech tree. What can I tell you? I'm a progressionist. Anyway, so I'm going to accept the satellite mission because, well, we need to launch a CubeSat in the roughly 80 kilometer orbit. So I already have me here, my launcher, which we have lovingly crafted in the previous episode. And in order for it to be able to deploy satellites, we really need to make huge changes. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's a minor change. I'm just gonna take off the nose cone and, and actually, you know, nose of the rocket and just replace it with the regular nose. However, I was just looking at the tinker panel seeing if there was anything of note. And uh, yeah, after that we're gonna be replacing the nose cone with something more that has more kick. Okay, so after inspecting the rocket, I have decided to take the top stage apart and we will be making it into the vehicle that will be able to, incapable of, you know, launching payloads. So here we have the cube set and that's one cube set. And then we want to be placing the fairing base first. Then we will be placing the cube set on top of it. Hopefully if I manage to squeeze it in there. Yeah. Definitely it's too huge. I mean interstage No, it, interstage doesn't work. It's not supposed to be interstage. It's supposed to be, you know, fairing top, but okay CubeSat here Close this to be as close as possible. It doesn't really need to be large We can make this fairing as small as possible as pos as we possibly can No, that doesn't look right. I'm just trying to find out the right size and shape. Okay, Apparently the granularity is okay. That that looks good to me actually. Now let's place the top cone nose cone. We're going to make it smaller. We want to make it pointy because you know pointy rockets are good. Yes. Look at it. Okay, good. This looks like a bullet actually, the smaller war version. Looks kind of cool. All right. So that's the top stage. We're going to just making sure that this stage has basically enough thrust to weight to start off with 105 and it has Delta V 3.12 kilometers per second, which I think it's has more than enough. All right, good. And uh, then we want to be placing it on top of everything else. And then we just need to check the staging and all that jazz. After all, I am a KSP player, which means Check your staging. Yes, we have four stages. First are the engines, then we have interstage and the second stage. Then we have third stage engine, interstage two, and the fairing base? No, wait, that's wrong. Uh, CubeSat deployer. We have number of stages. We should not be adding more stages. Okie doke. Uh, right. Hold on. Can we do something about this? I want to make this rocket a little bit thicker so we can launch more, but I want to make sure that, that I do optimize my settings. So, okay, length a little bit more. Yes, that would give me a bigger fuel tank. That's okay. And then where are all of my stages? So see, here is the second stage. I do want to make it larger and beefier. Yes, okay, all stages 2.61. I want to make it a slightly bigger, 5.2 kilometers a second. Right, 5.36 kilometers a second. The problem is that all of these are supposed to be in vacuum, so I'm actually not sure if we can make it this big. So if I increase the size, I'm trying to get the, the thrust to weight in a good measure because starting thrust to weight of, of this stages is 1.14 
nose and now I'm playing a little bit with the nozzle throat and nozzle length just to make sure to get this in order uh, and by this one I'm playing with a little bit of how do you call it optimization okay so altitude from zero that would be the 0 072 which means it wouldn't even get off the ground so if I was to play a little bit with the nozzle length that's not increasing by a little okay so if I change these, I might need to be able to change the nozzle size and the size of the engine. Right. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to be decreasing the nozzle throat size because that will give us a higher pressure. And then nozzle length. Oh, we don't need such a big of a nozzle. I mean, nozzle, this, is, this set stage will be in the bulk of the atmosphere going towards the vacuum. So... Yeah, I need it to be starting thrust weight 0 0.8. One would be preferable, at least. I don't need it over, you know, largely over one, because still, I mean, if we're starting with this stage, that's a different ball game. But I'm hoping that I will have one stage more, which should be basically just a kickoff stage. And that one should be able to, you know. Okay, okay, well, thrust weight 1.60. Hold on, hold on. We do have something here, but the Delta V is actually so far off the chart, it's basically unusable. Second stage engine, if we put the second stage engine engine first, third stage, and then we have fairing base and CubeSat deployer. Well, that could work. Yes. Stage 223 meters per second, but it's 2.61. Okay. So this is actually 512, which might be decent. And now let's see, add part. Aerodynamics, let's play some fins over here. Yeah, like I said, this rocket needs a little bit of re-engineering. Whether or not I'm doing it right, I mean, Juno players, please, by all means, do correct me where I'm doing wrong in the comments, because I'm pretty sure I'm doing a lot of things wrong. Namely, taking the second stage engine and making it into a first stage. I think it's just bad engineering. But then again, you know, I come from KSP, so, you know, exploding rockets and stuff. Yeah, I'm there. Okay, there are more issues. The fin is not correct connected to the craft. Okay, please reconnect it. Good. How about now? Are we now, and this is not connected to the craft. How are we doing now? Okay, let's try now. What are the issues? Fin is not connected. Oh, oh, you're talking this guy. Aha, I see. Okay, craft is too tall. Rats. Okay, let's decrease the size of it. Can we reduce it further? Yes, we can. Okay, a little bit, 10.8 decrease this by a little bit okay good so how are we doing now are we still too large 10.5 goodness gracious great balls of fire okay so how can i come if i put it a little bit down that's decreasing our delta v and that's actually not great okay so after some fiddling i was able to find the settings that work and the idea is that we launch the cube set we will have enough delta v barely but i'm kind of hoping that this will work so yeah let's see how how well will it will go angling uh, locking velocity prograde we are decreasing the pitch to 769 uh, degrees all right following and of course uh, you are seeing this accelerated and the apoapsis we've managed to climb it around 112 and that's good enough honestly so we're coasting a little bit higher and now we're going to be kicking up the second stage engine and that one has a total isp of 274 seconds and it has burn time of 2.7 minutes which is i think it's great and 2.40 uh, kilometers per second delta v sounds like about right and i should be able to get a, a satellite into orbit with that amount of delta v so let's hopefully check it out and see if we manage to to get it all right 
Uh, we are slowly increasing. Our, our epoepsis is 144, which is beautiful. Sounds good to me. And I know that this rocket uh, has basically abysmally low thrust to weight. So I have to, you know, keep pushing constantly. However, it's uh, Delta V is actually quite good. So yeah, okay. Thrust to weight is now 1.7. Oh, it's climbing. So yeah, right. We will be able to hopefully accelerate to the orbital velocity with it. Sounds quite close, but uh, you never know. I mean, and if we manage to get uh, one or two contracts knock off, knocked off our board, and it is progression, so we, it might be handy that uh, we can actually get the rocket out. By the way, guys, do let me know how you like this Juno New Origins playthrough. I mean, I'm recording in bulks and I have a couple more episodes lined up for you. And then we will be... I'm still learning a lot when I'm playing it, because this is actually the first time I've been playing campaign for the Juno, as weird as it sounds. So hopefully, all in all, it will be interesting to you and uh, let's see how it goes. So now I'm waiting until the apoapsis to perform that final burn and hopefully circularize. We do have around uh, 100 or 10-ish Delta V. Oh, we're so close. Time to apoapsis is zero minutes. So let's see. No, this thing did not go to orbit. Yeah. Okay, which means we need to make it uh, better or thicker or whatever. So I was thinking that maybe this rocket we should, if, if we make it thicker, maybe it will work better. So let's see, radius is 0 0.50 and if we increase it by a little bit, we should be able to get more oomph out of it. Which would mean also a larger engine at the bottom, but if we increase it by a little, that means that we were should be able to uh, pack more fuel into it and the th starting thrust to weight is 1.6 we don't need 1.6 uh, so maybe 1.36 is enough i would love if i would have if i would have finer granularity here because that would really be helpful okay try number two translation mode enable whatever i'm basically it's always like t and z when i'm pressing the, the play it's like my kerbal inner kerbal in me. Okay, so now we are actually pushing it and we're gonna be pitching as soon as we reach 180 meters per second because that will give us a roughly a correct now pitching to 68-ish degrees. All right, and let's see if this does any better. I mean, we did increase the size of the fuel tanks considerably because last time we were so close, we were 200 kilometers, 200 meters per second away from the full orbit. So this time, hopefully, it should we should do better. All right, stage burn time. Hoping for a little bit better apoapsis. And this time I have angled the rocket a bit more to get a little bit more of this, you know, horizontal momentum. Yes, apoapsis is 160 and climbing, and I'm thinking I'm gonna be aligning the rocket now. Okay, 173, that sounds better. We have more burn time, 2.7 minutes apart from 2.4, so that's good. I'm only gonna burn it after we have reached uh, space, which we have correcting my heading and the inclination so and then w as we get closer to the apoapsis we're going to do the burn so if i have the burn time of 2.7 minutes and i'm two minutes away from the apoapsis to me what it tells me that i should be starting the burn around 1.4 ish minutes closer to the apoapsis and it is 1.6 and I decided to kick off the engine just to be on the safe side. We are high enough, we are out of the atmosphere, which means hopefully if we manage, if we have engineered this thing correctly, we should have just about enough delta V to get this thing orbital. And right now I'm adjusting my angle to ensure that my time to apoapsis is decreasing, but my delta V and all that uh, remaining periapsis is raised. So periapsis is currently minus 1000 kilometers. We need it to be plus 80. We do have delta V of 1.5 kilometers per second change. So 
hopefully we are going 2,000 meters, two kilometers per second. We should be going around four-ish to be able to fully get around the orbit. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, it does look better. Last time when I was at minus 500, I was already on vapors. I was, I think, on 10% of the fuel. So this time looks a bit more promising. Minus 30, minus 200, we're going to be passing on 10. It's still cutting it close, but I think we're going to make it. And 80 per... Uh, yay, we managed. So now the next thing is to detach the CubeSat. All right. And what are our craft mass? We have seven more seconds of burn time. We have completed the satellite mission. Great. And end flight. Recover the craft. And look, we have managed to earn ourselves some hot cash. Then we have the CubeSat mission. We have two satellites, which is the progression mission. So I, actually, it's just a repetition of this mission. So I should probably have the same vehicle. This vehicle had seven more seconds of burn time, which tells me we should have no problem whatsoever executing it with the same vehicle. So... Four kilometers per second, Buck Marshall. To me, this sounds a little bit too extreme, to be honest. So I'm not going to take the light speed, but I'm going to be taking the cube set. And look, we have a couple more missions. And if we manage to, uh, if we manage to do some more things around Drew, why not? All right, cube set. Now, what we need to do, we need to take this guy and replace one with the two. That's it. I mean, that's all the changes that I'm going to do. And I'm going to be placing them radially or something like that. Let's just move this and okay. I'm going to be placing you. You just have to make sure that they are placed correctly. So, okay, somewhere here. Come on, stop snapping. Don't snap, please. Mirror. Oh, there it's not. Ha, part symmetry is not available at the, this position. Okay, fair enough. I'm just going to be placing two then. Right, so one of you stick here and another one to the other side which will mean manual placement hopefully accurate enough because the payload is light enough so we shouldn't worry replacing the fairing checking the staging and after that we would be doing the launch i guess all right translation enabled and kicking it into the high gear all right Beautiful. So, putting pitch to 75 degrees. Sixty-seven, sixty-six. Beautiful. And yeah, this is basically repetition of the previous mission, but we're going to do it a bit accelerated. After all, I mean, we've seen that it should work. We have now specific requirements in terms of apoapsis and periapsis so hopefully that should be a okay there we go similar launch profile going for a little bit steeper angle this time hopefully it should be good enough okay now we should be burning a little bit more prograde just to ensure that we do raise the periapsis in a good time 12.6 minutes to to the apoapsis, getting ready, making this thing larger and kicking it into high gear. By the way, guys, if you do find this video entertaining and so on, please do boop the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And it also let me know how much you guys are interested into watching Juno New Origins. I do judge, you know, each individual video just to be able to understand how much you guys are enjoying it. And uh, yeah, right. Okay. So, that thing being said, we have, uh, we have uh, two kilometers per second of the stage delta V. We are making sure that we are raising our periapsis, which is now painfully slow in the beginning. Later on, it will be going much faster. And hopefully it will go as intended. Right, so... 1.6 minutes of stage burn time. 50% in the fuel tank. We should be able to deploy these cube sets without any problems. I might need to adjust the apoapsis later on, but that's basically just to be expected. Right. All right, beautiful. 
we are raising that periapsis. I mean, we still have enough fuel in the tank. I feel like we should be able to deploy this without problems. All right, getting very close. All right, so now I'm just gonna go to the apoapsis where I will be, want to be raising my periapsis by a little bit. I want to raise it very gently. I have 1% of fuel in the fuel tank, which means two seconds burn time. I want to make sure that I burn them very gently and very close to the apoapsis. Yeah, see, I'm just running on vapors. I need to raise this around 83 kilometers and then I need to detach the cubesats. Close enough. Perfect. Huh. And now we have to detach the cubesats. All right. Let's do the gravity thingy and we're going to be detaching the cubesats. at any point now and after we do that then we should be probably wrapping it up for this episode all right coming in close by the way guys do like the video and yeah we succeeded thanks and i'll see you in the next one this is grumfrog signing off